What's up guys, Electro here. Welcome back to Construction Sim 2015. We've had a little bit of a week-long break whilst I've been on holiday uh, to the sunshine. However, we are back and uh, we're back with a vengeance. So hopefully we can uh, crack on with um, ploughing through these missions. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to jump straight back into the job market. Uh, you can see that we've still got another job running from previously which our guys are beavering away on um so we just need to pick what we're going to go and do i'm half inclined to go and get the larger excavator but i think we're probably gonna need a low boy to transport that so maybe not for the moment um this one's got some pumping on it so then it gives us 106,000. Mind you, this one doesn't really look like too much more work. I know it's, it's double the amount, isn't it? Uh, I'll tell you what, this will be a short episode just whilst we finish off the previous one. So we need to get four large bricks, pour some concrete, four large bricks and some roof tiles. I think we'll go ahead and do that one. So we're going to deed this truck to start with. We'll head on over to the construction site or the materials trader first, uh, which is just around the corner. And uh, then we'll go and have a look and see where our construction site is. So yeah, been away for a week, guys. I apologise, there's been no videos on the on the channel uh, during that week. But where I was, a uh, very very rubbish internet connection. In reality, it was very similar to. Uh, a mobile phone sort of sharing a Wi-Fi connection with um, with about six people. So yeah, it wasn't wasn't worth using at all. Uh, not that I had the ability to record any game videos anyway, because I didn't take anything like that with me. Okay, materials trader. We need to get four large bricks, don't we? Four large bricks. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ching ching. And they should. Yeah, there they all are. It should all be there. So we'll just move the truck a little bit closer. Get that mouse out of the way. Drop the size down, we'll need them for the forklift to do its job. And we can get into our forklift. So yeah, luckily, um, when I was away, I managed to use... I'll use my own phone, I'm with O2. Um, basically means if you've got something called O2 Travel then uh, you don't get the huge bills that you used to get on the door. Some of you probably won't know about all that but years and years and years ago, well not loads of years ago but within the last five if you used to go abroad and use your phone for data then um, you would have got stung for a huge bill. Uh, they've kind of changed that now and we um, you don't get such a big bill anymore. It's kind of limited to, well, one ninety nine a day. Ooh. What are we doing wrong now? Then? Yeah, it's come up ever so slightly. Yeah, it used to be. Um, 199 per 100 megabytes, I think it was, with O2. Uh, they've kind of changed that now because there was a, you know, whether or not there was a law that was passed, I don't know, or it was in the throes of being passed, and uh, what it basically means is that they're not allowed to charge you, certainly within Europe, um, extortionate amounts of money for using your data. Or using data. Certainly when a lot of the phone companies that you're going to connect to abroad, certainly in Europe, 
are um, pretty much the same company as the one you subscribe to back in the UK. That was the real annoying thing about it. I suppose it can equally be annoying that um, you subscribe to that company, you're using their network, albeit in a different country, and you can't use your inclusive minutes or uh, text messages or, um, or inclusive data. And I think that's the next step. That's certainly the next step they're looking at taking, I believe, or the government want them to take. Uh, so watch this space, guys. If you're an avid traveller and you... Um, you go abroad a lot then uh, you could in the near future end up seeing the ability to use your network abroad in a roaming capacity and use your inclusive minutes data text messages that kind of stuff that is the next step they're looking at I think which would be good save the uh, sort of 16 odd quid bill on top of the bill I've already got So, last pack of bricks. Last one. I'm going to pop this down in here. Stick the forklift around here again. You know, there was such a little slope there as well. Okay, let's fasten our cargo, which we've done. Jump back in, pop the sides. Back in. And we're going to go on to our construction site. Say goodbye to our materials trader dealer. And I will catch up with you guys when we arrive. Okay, guys, so we're just arriving at the construction site. We've got our four pallets of bricks on board and uh, we just need to go and see where we need to go and put these uh, make a little bit of a change i think what we're going to do is um, we're going to use the tower crane because we haven't used that yet have we so we'll run over here we'll order the tower crane it costs us three thousand credits but you know what sod it let's let's go for it uh yes we do want that and we can enter good We've got a little cockpit camera, that's good. We're going to go and pick up these. What other views have we got? Oh, we've got a hook camera. makes it a little bit easier doesn't it to um to grab things right uh, and where are we putting them ah here we go whoa did you see that the shadow took a little while to catch up there didn't it other views though we've only got those three so we can spin that around I suppose uh, we'll go about that way and there we go oh a little bit difficult when it's all back to front isn't it um anyway we're down with that one Truck looks good from this angle, doesn't it? With the old crane on. Uh, let's give it a 
that mouse out of the way. There we go, second one. Spin this over. Put this one down in this corner. Two. Three. Just going to chuck this one in. Because you get different views on these that um, you can use to uh, try and figure out exactly where these need to go. Come on. There we go, and the last one. And here we go. You can just pop this one down on this side. There we go. Move the crane out of the way. There we go. Now it's mat materialises in front of our eyes. That's good. That's stage done. Can't see all the controls or anything in this though, can we? Oh, no, there they are. Look. Oh, they do move. Yeah, look. Right, anyway, let's get out of it. Long walk back up there, isn't it, to get in that thing. Uh, what do we need to do now? We're going to be pouring some concrete. Um, let's get our workers going on this other bit. Because uh, they can do that whilst we are beavering away with our concrete bit. Um, so pour concrete into the prepared elements on the construction site. Don't quite know how we do that with the crane that we've currently got. So I think the best thing to do is we'll go back to the material trader. I've seen that you can get a like a little concrete mixer for the crane. Uh, which I think the crane picks up. So I'll go back there and have a look and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we've arrived. Okay guys, we are back at the materials trader and we're going to go and have a chat with the guy over here. I think we can get something for the tower crane in order to be able to pour concrete um i think so it's none of them contain ah there we go concrete crane bucket so we want one of them does it appear down yes it does okay I won't be able to fault lift this into a truck, will I? Uh, so, I have to use the high ab. I think about purchasing a new vehicle, yeah, we will do it at some point. Um, we need to get 
get our guys going on another stage of this build as well. So we've done that. Put the mouse. Uh, swap to our crane. And I don't know how we fill this up. That's the problem. But we'll find out, hey. Two on this end in terms of views. Uh, there we go. I'm hoping we can keep this for other jobs. I'm not sure if we can. We'll give it a go. My little trick there that someone taught me just resets the vehicle. We don't need to worry about collapsing stuff down, so thank you for that. Oh. However, they didn't teach me to do that, so we need to attach our cargo. We've done that, and we can then head on back to the construction site. We just need to select it again. Well, so we're going to the wrong one and um, as always guys I will catch up with you when we arrive back and uh, we'll see how you can use this bucket thing for the tower crane so I'll catch up with you guys in a moment okay welcome back guys uh, we are a little way away from the construction site now but uh, I just had a, uh, a thought whilst I was sat here at these lights and um, I think what we need to do is uh, we probably need to put the concrete bucket thing on the floor and then we use the concrete mixer that we've got as we would with the concrete pipe truck uh, we need to fill up the bucket each time uh, with concrete in order to be able to then pick it up with the crane and uh, deposit the concrete into the bits that we need on the construction site so uh, we're about to arrive and uh, we'll probably need the concrete mixer and uh, some concrete I think we've got some concrete in there already so we shouldn't need to go and get that from the uh, gravel plant at all um, let's undo that or we'll get in the crane let's get with the mouse and nice and quiet this thing isn't it uh, we need to pick up pick up the um, this thing here don't we so I can pick this up we put it on the floor we get the concrete mixer with the concrete and um, we should be good to go yes that's what I reckon we've got to do um, so what do I need to do now? I need to get the concrete mixer. And we need to take this back to our construction site. Yeah, I don't mind paying that. It's probably taken it to the wrong one. Yes, it has, uh, but we're not too far away because uh, we only need to be over here. So, take a quick drive over there, guys. Uh, so yeah, I think what we need to do is just use the concrete that's in here already uh, and um, we pour it into that bucket thing. The crane can then lift it up and uh, we should be good to go. He says... Uh, 
how are the guys getting on with the other job? Not too bad by the looks of it. Hitting all of the lights at the moment. You know, we just got back from Portugal on holiday and um, talking to traffic lights. Really good idea out there. Don't know why other countries don't do it, certainly in England. Uh, but speed controlled traffic lights. Rather than having a speed camera, you meet some sort of sensor that determines how fast you're going, and if you're going over the speed limit, it um, flicks the lights onto red. So uh, you then have to stop, uh, rather than having a speed camera which just gives you a fine but doesn't actually moderate your speed in any way, other than uh, obviously if you know it's there and uh, you start to slow down, etc. So, uh, yeah really good idea I don't know why other countries don't do it got them in Portugal got them in Spain haven't seen them anywhere else but um, I don't know maybe it's a new idea uh, certainly an idea worth looking at I reckon for anyone who's um, in government or anything ignore the person crossing there which is talking about safety and we almost killed him right Now's the moment of truth to see if this actually works. Well, the outlet goes through it. Um, let's see if it actually is going to work or not. don't know when it's going to be full. It's kind of a problem, I suppose. Ah, oh, there we go. I can see it filling up. Right, that looks like it's full. So we will move that away. The cursor again. Don't want that in the way, do we? Uh, and. Oh. Come on. That's the problem with this crane, it swings around, doesn't it? Just as it would in real life, I suppose. Okay. Mind the truck. Not gonna damage that in any way. And where do we need ah oh, there we go. We just need to pour this all over the roof, don't we? So I'm guessing it's just going to be as easy as this, yeah. Wow. Kind of slops around a bit, doesn't it? However, it does work. Probably not as accurate as the pump truck is, but uh, it's not too bad. That's probably a bit of a better angle to use. Filling up nicely. There we go. Uh, how are we doing in terms of 50% of the concrete left? A fair amount of it's gone over the side, unfortunately, but you can see it draining away in the bucket as well. That's really cool. But I don't know if we get to carry this over into another mission, so I suppose we'll find out at the end of this if uh, if we've still got it like we do with a forklift because we've technically rented it 40% left 39, 38 I don't think we're going to need to be 100% precise on this because it looks like we're doing fairly well on the meter up the top
nearly done. Probably just this last little bit. I may as well use up all the concrete in this, otherwise it's in real life I suppose it would just go off anyway, wouldn't it? That's what fourteen percent left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. It's fully out. Um, I suppose this can just be left here, can't it? Don't need it again at the minute. Might need it again in the future. Oh, there we go. Just leave this bit of a better position and we can then get the guys going on the last stretch of this contract. Which I think, yeah, there's a fair amount they need to do on that. So it's going to take them four minutes or so and we will concentrate on the last bit of ours. Oh, we've got two more, haven't we? Uh, four large bricks and four small roof tiles. Which we need to get from the materials trader. So, let's fly back there quickly. Yeah, we don't mind paying for that. And we need four large bricks. Them and we're going to need in a minute four large or four small roof tiles grey. Small roof tiles grey. Didn't see him get them. No, maybe he did, I'm not sure. Uh, Anyway, let's go over to here. Get the port lift out and we will load up the truck. This one on. Oh, okay, that's the other build done totally, so we don't have to worry about that one getting in the way anymore. Uh, us. We're getting on for nearly a million, guys. Nearly a million, so we're going to have to look at getting a new vehicle next, and I think. If I'm honest, it's probably going to be the excavator, the large excavator. A good job we need to do with that.
And with the last one going on, we can take this back to the construction site. There we go. Right, we should be able to fasten this on. There we go. And uh, yeah, onwards back towards the construction site, guys. So, as always, I'll catch up with you when we arrive. Okay, so we are just arriving with the four large bricks. I think we get these off, and then we need to go and get our four large roof tiles, and then we are done. Done for episode 15. Attached. Get in our tower crane. And then we can pick up our bricks. one of them down Grab the second one then we get knocked off this great one's upside down oh dear probably get sacked if you did that on the building site wouldn't you oh, I reckon you would There we go. It was all an issue of height. We need to grab these and then lift them up, don't we? Last one, and then we can go and get our tiles, and then we're done. 
don't think it's going to take us over the million on this episode but it probably will next time round so I won't go and buy anything just yet I'll just clear this site from or clear the hook from this so that it can change Are we putting roof tiles for this? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're right over there, so we're going to have to park right over here, aren't we? Now, I suppose actually, the further down the crane we get, the smaller movements we need to make in terms of big sway. I mean look at this, I'm barely moving the, the crane head and it's there's a lot of sway on that. Um, so we're going to want to park somewhere about here aren't we? Good good. Let's have a quick look at it. If we can, we can't. It's too tall. Oh dear. Uh, well, this can go back, can't it? We don't use this anymore. We can take that back to the home base in the city. Yes. Uh, and we want to get into the that bit with the crane. So I'll just put that up and go to the material crater in the city. And that was an issue. Um, here we can go and get our tiles. One, two, three, four. Purchased. Let's move our truck a little bit. jump in the forklift, chuck these on, and then we're done. Two and uh, last two is gone after this. Three. I was watching a funny video on Fort the other day. It was, I can't even remember what it was entitled. It was something like you think you're having a bad day at work, and there were quite a few clips. Before we try to do stupid things and uh, bad stuff happening. So, uh, whilst you're on YouTube, guys, have a look for it. Um, quite funny, some of the videos, certainly of um, trucks driving around like this, pretty much, with uh, loads up high and uh, hitting things like roller shut doors or racking or pipework or something. Uh, quite a few funny ones of this going way too fast and smashing into racking and entire shop floors falling apart because of it. And 
driven a Ford before, I can kind of understand where the guys are coming from, but I suppose it's different if, if you drive a car, you know what the pedals do. Whereas you can drive a Ford if 20 or 16 or something. Right, last one. Okay, car is fastened, we're in the truck, and I will catch up with you guys, well this one's a heavy one, uh, catch up with you guys when we arrive back at our construction site, and uh, we will unload these roof tiles, get this build complete, hopefully get us just over the 900,000 mark, uh, we're probably going to be approaching a million I reckon at that point and um yeah that'll be the end of this episode so where do we need to go construct inside okay right i'll see you when we get there if we get there because this load is heavy heavier than the bricks anyway okay different way in but we're just about to arrive just down here. Heading this way just so it's a little bit easier to swing in around here and we can get down to this corner. Okay. Right, so all unfastened. We can now leg it to the tower crane. And there we go, we're already in position, which is good. Oh. Okay, one off. Wow, this swing is unbelievable. And I'm backwards, aren't I? So I need to be going this way. Second one. Third one if we ever get there because this one's running quite slow. Right, last one guys. There we go, we just need to clear. Wow, that appeared very, very quickly. Right, so that gave us 106,800, four and, a, four and a little bit, four and a quarter thousand experience. Uh, and our crane reset all the way back here, which isn't too bad. That's okay, I can live with that. Uh, we probably need to go and get our other truck though. So... That bit of the crane is probably parked outside. Let's go and have a look at what we built. 
think it was this one, wasn't it? So we, which way did we just drive in? Yes, it will be. So we built this, haven't we? Not a bad looking house, or two houses. Yeah, quite good looking little, uh, little spot there, overlooked by the um, big car park at the back, but not too much of an issue. We've left some tyre marks on the ground, and here, I imagine they'll go when we continue driving round, but yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, we're going to go back to the home base of the city with this one, just to round everything off nicely, and then we'll have a look and see what our finances are doing. So. Yes, we're doing quite nicely. We've got just over 800,000. I thought we were going to get a little bit more out of that um, that one than we did. But not too much of an issue. Okay, we keep our concrete crane bucket. That's good. Uh, and we are not quite able to unlock our new workers and foremen, etc. So, uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing well. I reckon next episode will probably be the one where we get to crack the million dollar or million pound um, pound mark. It might be a two episode job, I don't know, but that's the beast we've just used in this episode. Look at the size of it, it's absolutely massive, isn't it? That is the tower crane, uh, and this is our fleet. So, so far, we've got all of this. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Maybe whack a, a comment in the um, comment section below what you want to see next time round, whether or not it's us going past the million credit mark or um, we push for a new vehicle, which will probably be the large excavator. So what do you guys want to see? Million credits or a new vehicle like the large excavator? Feel free to whack a comment below and... Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Construction Sim 2015. Take care. Bye for now.